back to my channel. I'm so happy you made it here and I'll jump right into the video because today I'm doing birthday reveal number two. I told you I have three items for my birthday and the first one was the Neverfull. I will link the video in the description box. It was the Neverfull MM in a band with the Rose Ballerine interior. And my second birthday gift I'm showing you today. And it is a Cartier item. And I will have the unboxing running um, here now. And the unboxing is completely off-centered, I think, because my family was around me while I was unwrapping it. And um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't videotape it properly. So, but I will run it here. And um, you can see how I unbox the item. The second birthday item I received from my family is a Cartier item and um, for this year I decided um, so I I made a wish list for Cartier for the year and the wish list is very moderate because I want to have three pieces um, or four pieces for which I can wear every day and I showed you I got um, actually it started last December because last December for Christmas I got the love wedding band and the Enclou and um, or I gifted it to myself for Christmas whatever how you want to call it and um, one I received as a Christmas gift, one I gifted to myself to be clear. And um, so those are the two ring pieces and I'm completely satisfied with my rings right now. I wear them every day. I don't change them right now. I'm very happy when I look at them. And um, the second piece I have on my wish list was a necklace. And that is the gift I received now for my birthday, which was a round one. And I always think the round ones are very special, extra special. So I received this one for my birthday and uh, my birthday was a few weeks ago and I wore it ever since. I took it off today so that I can show you properly how it came and uh, when we start looking at it I will take you down a little bit so we can look at it properly. I will show you also how it looks at my neck and um, yeah share my what I learned in the purchase uh, while I was purchasing it. I went a few times before we made the purchase to Cartier and tried it on. I will try to insert some mod shots. I tried it on. I bought it in yellow gold and I tried it on in rose gold because they never had the yellow gold in the store. And um, yeah, let's get into the video. I take you down now with me and we can look at it together. And I show you, I insert also some pictures and show you how it looks on my neck. Um, the Cartier necklaces are also like all their jewelry, 18 karat gold. And I said it in my ring video, usually I do 22 karat gold, but 18 karat is what I do. I don't go to 14 karat. And um, this necklace, as you all know, I am not very skinny. My neck is also has quite a big circumference. And the Cartier from Cleave and Arpe uh, necklaces, are six, this necklace has 16.25 inches circumference. So I felt it was a little bit tight on my neck when I tried it on. And that's why I was thinking about it for a while. But Cartier gives you the option to put extensions into um, the necklaces. You can add up to two inches, four centimeters approximately on the necklace. I'm not 100% sure if the numbers are right with centimeters and inches, but I think so. That's what I've been told by the SA but I decided not to do it right away. I made my purchase, we made the purchase, 
and I decided because you have 30 days also like with Louis Vuitton to return if something is wrong I decided to wear it first for 30 days and then go and later do the extension because with uh, Cartier you can do the extension anytime with Van Cleef and Apples I know there's a time constraint of I think three months to do the extension to their necklaces or any modifications to the jewelry after that you pay you still can do it but you have to pay and um, I, I will do the extension to have more options to wear it to layer it and 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 but why I, like I said, I was wearing this necklace since my birthday all the time. I just took it off now for um, the video purpose. And it is comfortable. And I think the SA told me when I tried it on, it hits actually the right way as it is supposed to, although my neck has a big circumference. And um, I feel comfortable with it. But just to have more variety, I will add the extension at a later point. But right now I'm enjoying wearing that a lot, this necklace. So I'm keeping it as is. So and now I'm taking you down. And sorry if I talked so much beforehand now. Um, but I wanted to give you the information and what I learned before we go down now. So here we are now and I hope you can see, um, I tried to put the frame so that you can see my neck and also can see uh, what I have in my bag. So here you saw it most likely by now in the unboxing, here's the paper and the paper comes sealed with wax and I love this 18th century style like the sealing with the hot wax. I, I think the packaging is beautiful. This is where my necklace is in and this time I had the same SA like I had when I bought the rings and that was also kind of a story. So like I mentioned before, I went a few times, um, so I take you up a little bit. I went a few times into the store to try the necklace on and the SA from whom I had bought the ring was not there and um, another SA, um, grabbed me kind of and gave me her card and asked me to work with her and buy the necklace from her whenever it comes in and um, she was nice but I realized that she is not as knowledgeable as the SA from whom I bought the rings and uh, but I still was willing to buy um, the necklace from her if she would get the yellow gold one so I tried the rose gold on two times and um, she gave me her number and told me she will text me uh, when the necklace is in and I never heard from her so I started looking at the necklace from last December actually no maybe October November already I used to look at the rings and the necklaces and um, she never texted me and I texted her from time to time if the necklace came in and either she didn't respond or she said no it's not here the yellow gold is not here so one day I had to go to Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton is right next to Cartier where I go and I decided it was like five days before my birthday and I decided let me drop into Cartier and see if it's there so I had no appointment, nothing, and they let me in. And my SA, my ring SA was there. And I asked her, do you by any chance have the yellow gold love necklace with the two diamonds? And she said, yes, of course I have it. And she showed it to me. I bought it from her. And you guys, while I was sitting there buying that love necklace from her, the other SA texted me, Oh, I got the love necklace in today. Are you ready to come in and look at it? And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? On you guys, leave me a comment. What do you think? What was going on? I feel she was sitting in the back office looking at the video because of course the stores are screened, especially the in the front with the jewelry and saw me there and texted me. So, but that is the story. And now we are looking and unbagging the necklace here so um, this is the box that came in and then um, I got my receipt in here and then you get the certificate 
you get a certificate with a serial number and a Cartier stamp and the date and um, it's good to have this I like to have paperwork with my bags and with my purchases I made and this time she gave me also the cleaning kit when I went for the first time for the rings she gave me for each ring a travel pouch but no cleaning kit and after I watched plenty videos and saw everybody gets the cleaning kit so I asked her for the cleaning kit she gave the cleaning kit to me which is a solution and a little brush here and oh it's the solution I didn't open it yet it has a microfiber towel and a little toothbrush and in the bottom you have a little manual kit how to do it and I saw it has it in German language too super good super nice and um, I'm very glad she gave this now to me. But then again, I also made in three months three purchases from her. And then she gave me the travel pouch for the necklace as well. And this is really nice. When you travel, you can put your necklace in here. Very nice, very luxurious and I love it. Packaging is everything, I think. It makes it makes or breaks the purchase, in my opinion. Um, oh, this is a little um, dent here because there's a button of the necklace thingy here. I was just wondering why there is this little stain. These buttons are pushing through here, which is fine. Can see it on both sides on one side you can see it a little bit more than on the other and sorry if the video is longer these days I try to give always in each video as much information as possible as opposed to doing one video with an unboxing and then again a video with uh, information so I try to put everything into one video and now Let's open the necklace. It has inside the box another box. Oh, it opened. I didn't put it back properly. That's my fault. And that's the necklace. It's the love necklace with two diamonds. And I will insert a few pictures how I wore it. And um, it has here this love circle and um, the diamond, one little diamond is right here. That's one little diamond and um, that's the other diamond and it has double chains. And I put my necklace back on now so you can see how it looks on my neck and um, I hope I can do it fast I'm not very good at putting on necklaces I yesterday evening took it off because I knew I will do this video today and I felt really naked without it. It's a really nice everyday jewelry piece. And this is how, is how it lays on my neck. And it feels really nice. I, like I mentioned, I was wearing it since my birthday a few weeks ago. I sleep with it, I showered with it, and um, I wanted a piece which I can wear every day, which I don't have to take off at all. The two things with this necklace is, if you are picky in that way, this diamond will flip and the small diamond is hardly visible. I would have preferred they would not have put the small little diamond here and instead uh, lowered the price a little bit because this diamond is hardly visible 
and this diamond always flips back and forth but I still think it's such a nice cute detail and um, if you wear you anyway this is a piece which I didn't think about um, the necklace the rings are pieces which you can see and enjoy yourself the necklace is a piece everybody else will enjoy looking at it but you hardly ever see it but um, that is the reason why I was uh, debating getting also a VCA necklace which I um, have on my wish list but it is very back on my wish list because I'm satisfied with this one right here and I have other fine jewelry necklaces too before I used to wear a stack and um, with one single solitaire diamond, a heart and um, a, a chain, a station chain so I, you can see that in my older videos now I'm drifting away again but um, this necklace with the double chain with the little diamond here with the little diamond there the circle I think it's very timeless it's very clear classic you can wear it in the office you can wear it to a party you can wear it in the morning you can wear it in the evening I'm very very happy with this purchase or gift and um, I don't feel the need of um, adding right now another necklace. Um, I mentioned initially that I have a very small wish list for Cartier. I um, have for my 10th wedding anniversary, I, I want only two gifts over the year. I spoke to my husband, I, I told him I don't want a Valentine's gift, Easter gift. Uh, Diwali gift and all these little gifts. I want one for my birthday and one for our 10 year anniversary because uh, we live in times where luxury is the last thing actually on our uh, to-do list I would say personally and um, so I streamlined that and um, for my anniversary gift I was debating or am debating some a bangle but I wear every day my wedding bangle my husband gave me when we got married 10 years ago. You will see this in nearly all of my videos. Um, I wear that every day. It never goes out of my arms. And it is kind of a love bangle because I got it for my wedding anniversary, uh, wedding, wedding on my wedding day. And since then I wear this. So, um, and the love, love bangle, which I was thinking about, has the same meaning. Uh, when it was invented in the 70s, um, the idea was that you, and you could in the 70s only go with your significant other or husband and buy that item and the spouse or the partner had to put it on your wrist and kept the keys that was the idea behind the love bangle and um, so I have kind of a love bangle and um, I'm debating the Enclou or the Ecru bangle but on the other hand I'm also not I'm realizing with the rings and the necklace I'm somebody who does not love to layer things I like one piece on each finger or on some fingers and on one neck one piece I, I, I this this layering makes me crazy it gets tangled even if it doesn't tangle that much because you can find a way to layer pieces uh, so they don't tangle but that's all too much for me and also the second thing is if you wear two gold bangles they will clash against each other and rub against each other and scratch more so those are my thoughts do I really want a bangle or not so um, definitely when the time comes I will share what happened and what won what hit the jackpot what did I get for the anniversary in a few months but I'm very happy with this necklace and I will also insert a few close-ups of the necklace on my neck because I think you can see that better on skin than on um, the box here. I hope you liked my little unboxing and bagging with you and um, leave me in the comments what you think about how I uh, how my wish list is and how I plan for the year because that's not something I usually do like with Louis Vuitton you know you guys it went completely out of a hand it was supposed to be one bag and then it was like 
uh, more than one and um, I don't want that to happen with the jewelry but I have to say I wear all my bags I rotate a lot so they are not sitting just in the cupboard so that's a long video today I hope you enjoyed it I wish you a great weekend I'm posting this tomorrow on Friday and um, today is Friday then and um, I wish you a great weekend um, stay safe stay healthy and do what's best for you and see you in the next one